Stein, a Democrat, won his race defeating the current Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. In fact, 15% of those who voted for Trump for president also backed Stein for governor. In addition, Democrats in North Carolina have broken the GOP's supermajority in the state legislature after flipping a key seat in a district just east of Raleigh. That means... <laughs> well, well, well. I have my proof now. I have my proof now when I gave my little analysis breakdown of the election in North Carolina. I get it now because I just showed a clip from the corporate media of MSNBC breaking down what happened in the gubernatorial race in North Carolina. Um, Josh, Josh Stein against Mark Robinson and how and how um Donald Trump that clowning that that buffoon of a person won the presidential election. They reported that 15% of these Republicans, these fascist Republicans, they picked the liberal white guy over the black MAGA Republican. Instead, and I'll be honest, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe if that CNN story even broke or if that even came out, if he, he brought, if he, if, if that would led to him like you, on um, Mark Robinson winning, because before that information came out, Mark Robinson was down in the polls, and I'm just going to say it like this, which we, some of us who, Deal in reality and common sense and know what goes on in this idiotic country of the United States, which is a racist country. I mean, we, we all know there's no way in hell that some of these racist people in the state of North Carolina are going to vote for a black guy to be governor. We know this. We, we know this. So this black conservative guy or whatever is doing all this bulk dancing, juking and jiving. To these racist white people thinking he's in a part of the part of the club, and he then messed around and found out that he isn't a part of the club. But this is the same Mark Robinson who said that he's a black Nazi. No, bro, you're a clown. You're an absolute clown, and it's it's just a disaster that you have the same name as one of my uncles. It's just a disaster, like I said, that you have the same name as one of my uncles. Nah, nah, bro. Them white people, them racist white people, they weren't gonna vote you in into the gover into the governor's mansion. They weren't gonna do it. <laughs> they weren't gonna do it. They they rather they rather have the white guy, <laughs> the white guy in there than the black guy. Than the black guy who was sprouting all that nonsense that they like to hear. And everything. But there was like, there was like, oh, I just don't like the color of his skin. I just don't like the color of his skin. Yeah, so now you done messed around and found out. Doing all that juking and jiving. And everything like that. And let me, let me state this. I understand that there are conservative people in this country. I understand that. But where I draw the line at is when you try to take rights from other people, trying to force other people to live the way that you want to live. No, it ain't going to go down like that. Because me personally, I will fight you people. I will fight you people to the end. Because this right here, this experiment right here is not over. <laughs> this is far from being over. Y'all might have won right now but don't forget <laughs> don't forget this is far from being over shit so with that have a good day